add-on desired. Hello viewers, welcome to Adart Solution Daily Current Affairs. I am Lokesh Pengonda. In this session, we will cover the the Hindu and the Indian Express newspapers and in the end, we will see some practice MCQs as well. Our first article is talking about the inauguration of a center of excellence for the research and analysis of psychotropic substances and narcotic drugs. So, a center, a center of excellence of excellence for research and analysis, for research and analysis of psychotropic substances and narcotic drugs were inaugurated yesterday. This was inaugurated by the Home Minister, who is Mr. Amit Shah, who is Mr. Amit Shah. You should note that the Center of Excellence was set up within the National, National Forensic Sciences University, National Forensic Sciences University. So where is this National Forensic Sciences University or the NFSU? This is in Gandhi Nagar. This is in Gandhi Nagar. To help the government regarding research and analysis of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances, this center of excellence was started in this university at Gandhi Nagar. In our next article, it is stated that the Chinese military has drawn away a US warship from the Paracel Islands. From the Paracel Islands. So, where is this Paracel Islands? In the image, you can see where Paracel Islands is. It is in the South China Sea. It is in the South China Sea. So, what is the issue with the Paracel Islands? In the image, you can see nine dashes. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These nine dashes are within the South China Sea. So, what are these nine dashes? After China became an independent country, it has come out with a map. And in this map, it has drawn nine dashes in its adjacent South China Sea. In the image, you can see China and in the in its map, it has drawn nine dashes in the South China Sea. It has stated that China historically, historically own this nine dashed line area, own this nine dashed line area. So as China owned it historically, even from now onwards, we will own the territories, we will own the islands which are in the South China Sea. So there are some islands, namely the Paracel Islands, the Spratly Islands, which are coming within the nine dashed line. But Paracel Islands and Spratly Islands are also being contested by other countries. In the image, you can see where Spratly Islands is. These islands are near to Philippines. You can see in this image, there is a country Philippines and also you can see Brunei, Indonesia and Malaysia within near to this South China Sea. So many countries such as Vietnam, Philippines, Brunei and Indonesia claim a part of this South China Sea and Chinese government is also claiming this. So there is a huge, cont there is a contestation of islands and territories in the South China Sea. So what happened later? In the year 2016, in the year 2016, Philippines, you can see in this image, has went to a court. This is the permanent, this is the permanent court of arbitration, court of arbitration. So what is this permanent court of arbitration and why did Philippines go? Way back in the year 1898, this permanent court of arbitration was established at The Hague, The Hague, which is in Netherlands, which is in Netherlands. This acts as a intergovernmental body so as to solve disputes. So this is an intergovernmental body that will solve disputes between the member countries. And Philippines has went to this court stating that Spratly Islands belong to Philippines and they does not belong to China. And in the year 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration has given a verdict in support of Philippines. It has stated that China, China does not have any historical title over this South China Sea. So whatever islands that are near to the Philippines, that are near to the Philippines, 
belong to the Philippines. But what happened? China did not accept the verdict and it has been ignoring the verdict and in the last few years what we have been witnessing is China constructing many naval bases and many artificial islands in the South China Sea. This is against the permanent court of arbitration rules and this is against many other international guidelines and as a result many western countries such as the United States and the United Kingdom are supporting countries which are claiming the parts of South China Sea. So this is with respect to the South China Sea and the 9 dash line. Our next article is talking about Sudan's foreign minister, Sudan's foreign minister stating that the country Sudan will review the deal, will review the deal it has signed with the country Russia. So what is this deal between Sudan and Russia? In the year 2017, Sudan and Russia signed a deal wherein it is stated that Sudan will give permission as to Russia so that Russia can construct and maintain a naval base in the port Sudan. So, Sudan is a East African country and it is lying near the Red Sea. In the image you can see water body, this is the Red Sea, this is the Red Sea. And in the year 2017, Sudan government has stated that it will approve the request of Russian government so as to construct a Russian naval base at Port Sudan. In the image you can see Port Sudan and it is stated that Russia can construct a naval base here. But now after four years of signing this agreement, Sudan lawmakers have stated that they will review the deal between Russia and Sudan. So if you ever come up with a question where it is asking the newly constructed or the coming up Russian naval base in the Africa or near the Red Sea, it would be Port Sudan that is a part of Sudan. And you should also remember the capital of Sudan which is Khartoum. So the capital of Sudan is Khartoum. Our next article Jamaican government is planning to seek reparations from the United Kingdom. So what do you mean by reparations? It means compensation. It means compensation. So why is the Jamaican government asking compensation from the United Kingdom? United Kingdom has colonized, has colonized many countries in the world. We have British colonies in Asia, we have British colonies in Africa, we have British colonies in West Asia and even in Caribbean islands. Jamaica, you can see in this image, is a Caribbean island country. It used to be a British colony. When it was a British colony, British government has helped the local colonizers and local traders in the slave trade. In the slave trade. So what is this slave trade? Slave trade is nothing but human trafficking in legal form. So people who are citizens of Jamaica were forcefully sold off to other countries where these people were used as plantation workers. They were used as plantation workers. And now the Jamaican government is stating that as we have faced a lot of problems and we have faced all kinds of human rights violations when we were a British colony, we are seeking compensation from the United Kingdom. So this is with respect to the Jamaican government's decision to seek compensation from the United, Gov United Kingdom. Our next article is regarding RBI's decision to bring in a scheme called as Retail Direct Scheme. So what is this Retail di Direct Scheme? We have something called as the government securities. We have something called as government securities. So what are these government securities? If the union government want to take a loan, it will bring this government securities. That is, if a person A wants to give money to the government as a loan, he will take the government securities as return for giving loan. So if he is giving a loan of 100 rupees, then he would get government securities worth 100 rupees wherein he can sell this government securities to other persons or he can use it for a particular period of time and he can return this government securities back to the government. So as to get this 100 rupees along with interest amount along with interest amount. But what is the issue? Why is the RBI bringing in a new scheme? 
historically government securities are generally bought by large institutional investors that is banks financial institutions and other firms we know that banks and financial institutions have lot of money so they can buy a lot of government securities what do you mean by buying it is nothing but it is giving a lot money a lot amount of money to the government as a loan as a loan if it is giving government 5 crore rupees as a loan it will get in return 5 crore rupees government securities and later after a few years time this 5 crore sec government security would be sold back by the banks or financial institutions to the government and in the end banks will get 5 crores along with interest amount as well this is why banks and financial institutions give a lot amount of money to the government as loans by taking government securities which we also called as g securities but you can see in this image in this article how banks and financial institutions provide lot amount of money to the banks but in reality general people that is common persons common people does not give loans to the government in as a high amount so to make sure that common people also can buy this government securities the government is a, the rbi is bringing this RBI is bringing this retail direct scheme. You should note that even now common people can buy but the procedure is a bit lengthy and it is a bit complicated. So to make sure that it is investor friendly the RBI is bringing this retail direct scheme wherein common persons can buy small amount of government securities. Earlier you should note that RBI has come up with a with the app this is the nse go bit so earlier also rbi has come up with an app to improve and to promote these government securities to the retail investors this is nse go bid app so you should remember the scheme name and the app name brought out by the rbi now next article is talking about the portal for the migrant workers so why do we need a portal for the migrant workers Last year when the COVID pandemic struck the country we have seen how many people that is lakhs of people walking back walking back from one state to other state in some cases some migrants have walked nearly thousands of kilometers let's say from Maharashtra to West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh so they have walked hundreds and thousands of kilometers back as they have lost their livelihoods because the government has imposed stringent, stringent regulations on the common people so we have seen how migrants especially were hit hard by the covid pandemic by the covid pandemic later when the government wants to provide some kind of support it may be giving free rations it may be giving some amount of money to the migrant workers government did not have the details did not have details of the migrant workers and the government from last few years especially from last year has been trying to take and collect the details of migrant workers but this process has been very slow and last month the supreme court has asked the union government to come up with this my national migrant portal national migrant portal within the end of this month so government is taking numerous steps so as to compile this migrant list and bring the national migrant portal online so this is with respect to the national migrant portal we'll also see some important elements of this migrant portal this national migrant portal will come under the ministry of labor will come under ministry of labor our next article is talking about a new cattle bill proposed by the state of assam so it is a proposal we should see some important provisions which are proposed as a part of this bill one important provision is no one can sell beef in hindu sikh jain areas or within 5 kilometers radius of a temple hindus along with other mentioned communities generally river and worship 
cows and worship other animals which are provided in the Hindu religious text. But there are many religious people who consume beef. The, so Hindus are against this beef eating habit of other communities. The government of Assam to make sure that no community is facing some problems due to consumption of beef has come up with this new cattle bill wherein it stated that no person can be able to sell beef near the mentioned religious community areas and near the 5 kilometers radius of any temple. You should remember that this is just a proposal it has not become an act as of now. Our next article is talking about a smart ring a smart ring which is to men which is to monitor the med meditation levels which is to monitor the meditation levels so why are we talking about the a smart ring which are talk which is measuring a meditation levels because the smart ring technologies have entered into an agreement with the indian olympic association so we have the indian olympic association and this indian olympic association have stated that it has partnered with dhyana so it has partnered with dhyana what is dhyana dhyana is a startup it is a startup which is producing this meditation measuring smart rings and it is stated that these smart rings would be provided to athletes these pro these will be provided to athletes who are participating in the coming up tokyo olympics who are participating in the coming up tokyo olympics these smart rings will be able to help athletes by improving their focus so to improve their focus and to improve their mental well-being to improve their mental well-being these dhyana startup developed smart rings would be used by the athletes so this is with respect to the dhyana startup and the indian olympic associations agreement our next article is talking about euro 2020 euro 2020 in the final match of euro 2020 italy has won italy has won thus italy became the champion of euro 2020 so what is this euro 2020 euro 2020 is also called as european european football championship football championship this european football championship takes place once in every four years once in every four years last time it has it happened in the year 2016 and in the 2016 portugal country portugal country became the champions and this and technically it was scheduled to be happening in the year 2020 but last year we have witnessed the covid pandemic so this 2020 match is postponed and it, it got to 2021 and yesterday this this european cha football championship got over and in this match italy has climbed the title italy has claimed the championship title and in the image you can see italian players italian players with the cup next we'll start the practice mcqs our first question mr amit shah inaugurated the center of excellence for research and analysis of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances at the national foreign sciences university where is this located in is it in hyderabad is it in lucknow is it in gandhinagar is it in nashik the answer is d it is in gandhinagar our next question the permanent court of arbitration is headquartered at is it headquartered in New York? Is it London? Is it Hague? Or is it Rome? The answer is C because it is in Hague. The term nine dash line is related to. Is it related to Mediterranean Sea? Is it related to Gulf of Mexico? Is it related to the Red Sea or the South China Sea? The answer is a South China Sea. To attempt more mock tests based on today's current affairs, you can visit our adults website. And with this we have come to the end of this session thank you for watching add art solutions add on desire